Can you really have too many pumpkins? I'm pretty sure I've lost count of how many pumpkins I use with my fall decor, but if you guys know how many you have, let me know down in the comments below. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a lot, maybe it's somewhere in the middle, but I really don't think you can have too many. And I promise you, in today's video, I have some brand new ideas that you've never seen or never thought of before. And a lot of these ideas, I hope you give a try and add to your own home's decor this fall season. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I wanna welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer, and I also wanna thank Fetch for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump right into the very first fall pumpkin DIY. You know how we keep it budget friendly around here, we shop at Dollar Tree and I found these great pumpkin muffin tins, but I was a little stumped, so I headed over to Instagram for you guys' help. Um, but I'm getting ready to film a fall slash Halloween video all about pumpkins and I found this really cute muffin tin at Dollar Tree. Have you guys seen these at your Dollar Tree? You have to let me know. But anyway, I want you guys' ideas because I'm kind of stumped on this one, but I really, really want to use it. So you guys send me some ideas. Maybe it'll make it into my next video. So many Instagram followers suggested I create candles, so that was my mission. If you're not following me over there, I'll link it down below. Come follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes footage. And also, sometimes I need your advice. So anyway, we're gonna get into this project. We're gonna grab, you only need actually one, even though I'm using two here, one candle per muffin tin, unless you need lots of candles. And we also need some wicks. So I will link the wicks that I'm using down in the description box below. Super duper cheap on Amazon. I've used them for several different projects. So they go a long way, unless you need tons of candles all at one time, then you still get those too. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some water in a pot, put it over medium, medium high heat, and we're gonna put our candles in and let it come to a boil and then it will start to melt that wax. Once it melts all the way, you're gonna go ahead and remove the actual candle wicks that come with them, save them. You can use them for different projects. We don't need big ones for this one, so I'm gonna use new ones. And here's a little trick I decided to try. I really wanted my pumpkin candles to be orange, and I also wanted them to have a nice scent, so I had these scent melts, which you can find some of these at Dollar Tree too, or use Scentsy, wax melts, I threw those in with the wax too because they're made of wax they smell really good and it will also melt down and incorporate and to do that I'm using a barbecue skewer to help melt those cubes and also stir it up so that the color and the scent is all evenly distributed now we can start making our candles so I put wicks into each one of the pumpkin tin little holes and then very super carefully here is a disclaimer right now do not burn yourself this will hurt really badly do not get hot wax on you um, so I'm using two oven mitts to kind of help protect my hands and like I said earlier a one jar candle from Dollar Tree fills up the spaces perfectly just enough this set of wicks came with these cool popsicle sticks with little holes in them that are going to hold our wicks down and also center them pretty good for us but you can always make your own popsicle sticks just add a little hole in the center and that will work too Stay tuned and I'll show you if this experiment turns out or not next. But first, did you know you can turn your receipts into free gift cards? You can with Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is a super easy to use free app where you earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Of course, I like to shop at Dollar Tree. So I have lots of Dollar Tree receipts and those work too. You just scan any physical receipt or e-receipt and you earn points for every purchase. So I may be using a Dollar Tree as an example here, but Fetch works with literally any retail receipt from anywhere, including all Amazon purchases, e-receipts and restaurants too. So how does it work? It is so simple, quick, and easy. Once you get done shopping, you wanna to head to the checkout, get your receipt, save it, and once you've downloaded the app, go ahead, open that up. It will give you the option right there to take a photo of your receipt, snap a pic, and it will process it on the spot and give you your rewards right then and there. And you can then redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, GameStop, Walmart gift cards, and so many more. Fetch is a 100% free app, and it is so easy to use. I want you guys to start earning those rewards today, so head on over, download the app now, and use the code DAILYDIYER. That will get you 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. I'll also have an easy-to-click link down in the description box below. 
Now back to our candle experiment. So as you can see, these set up really, really nice. They didn't turn quite bright orange like I was hoping. They kind of have more of a peachy color, which actually is gonna work in my home decor because I have more of a neutral theme. But if you want more of an orange, you can also purchase uh, candle colorants off Amazon or find those in craft stores. So that's an option too. This was just an experiment. It kind of worked. We'll go with it. It actually looks really pretty. There's a really cool other thing you can do with these candles instead of just burning them. You do want to trim the wicks down so they're only about half an inch high, maybe a quarter of an inch high. They actually float. We just made floating candles, you guys. How cute are these? So this is a bubble vase from Dollar Tree. Just put some water in there, floated the candle on top, and look how beautiful. So you can see I even have some peachy neutral color leaves back there, and those are from Dollar Tree too, so this actually really worked together. It was a fun project to do, totally worked. I hope you guys get a chance to try this out too. And here's another quick tip. If you're gonna make several of these candles but don't wanna use them all at the same time, you can also just store them in zipper bags to keep them nice and fresh until you are ready to use them and then they'll be ready all season long. Back inside Dollar Tree, I found these great metal. They look like bottle caps, but when you flip it over, it reminded me of a pie tent. So we're gonna make a pumpkin pie for fall with it. You guys have to let me know down in the comments below. Do you like pumpkin pie? I love pumpkin pie, but I think it's hit or miss. My dad and I love pumpkin pie, but my sister and my mom, not so much. So anyway, this one's just gonna be cute. You can use it for decor, you don't have to eat it. We're gonna cover up the holes. I did remove the jute off the top, put a couple layers of tape over them, and then added some hot glue plugs so we don't have anything spilling out because we are gonna be adding resin to the inside of here. So this is from another project that I've done in the past. I will link some affordable options down in the description box below for you but you can find it at Walmart craft stores pretty affordably what you do is it has a hardener it has the epoxy you measure them out in a one to one ratio so equal parts of one and the other and then you'll pour them together and mix them the thing about epoxy is you have a limited time to work with it so once you pour these together you want to start mixing gently mix though don't you don't want to incorporate air bubbles and to make this look like pumpkin pie i have some mica powder which i found on amazon i'll link it down below and i grabbed out three colors because i really wanted to get a textured kind of look so i added orange first and mixed that together then i added sort of a bronze color and then next I added more of a brown tone to warm it up because it was look a little, a little bit too bright orange to me and I wanted it to look like baked. So this is what I ended up with after doing a little bit of adding this and that. And once I was happy with it, went ahead and poured this into my little tin here. Obviously make sure you have your work surface covered because this stuff is hard to get off. You wanna make sure you're wearing gloves, have the windows open, wear a respirator too. This stuff puts off some fumes that are kind of dangerous. So be careful when you're working with it, but it really is easy to work with too. Make sure to get all that out of your little silicone mixing thing and popsicle stick, you can toss that. To get any air bubbles out, I just kind of tapped it and then used my heat gun to pop any surface bubbles. So you do want to let this sit overnight so it can harden all the way. Look how pretty this is. I was so happy with the way this turned out. We need to give it a little bit more detail yet. So this is a cake decorating kit from Dollar Tree. And then my friend Courtney over at Creative on the Cheap, she suggested this spackle that looks very much like whipped cream, um, but it will harden and dry and not attract ants. So I will link that down below for you too. And Courtney's channel, she has some great Dollar Tree DIYs over at her channel too. And it's so easy to do this. Now I am gonna say, I am not a cake decorator. I'm a crafter and I've taken cake decorating class I'm just not great at it, but that doesn't stop me from at least trying or doing my best. So if you're not a cake decorator, no worries. Give it a try anyway. You just put some of that speckle in your piping bag, kind of push it down to the bottom, give the bag a twist. And I did get a piece of cardstock out so I could kind of test it out before I went straight over to my pie. And I think I did better, honestly, on the practice piece of paper than I did on the pie itself. It's it was kind of difficult. There was lots of air bubbles in there. I think I should have probably mixed it up a little bit. So I got a little better as I went, but it didn't stop me. And I also scooped some of it off and redid a few of my little blobs. Anyway, it looks homemade, right? Still, it's not a perfect off the shelf made 
you know, made, mass made. It's handmade. So I still think it looks really, really cute. And what a fun little piece to add to your kitchen decor or little vignette. When I saw these brown boxes, this round one made me think of a lantern pumpkin. So that was my mission to turn this into a lantern. So I also grabbed some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and we're gonna use those as the outside rim. We're gonna make a tall lantern pumpkin. So to do that, it's gonna be so, so simple. We're gonna add some hot glue onto our barbecue skewers and then just evenly space them out around the bottom of the box. And you'll do that about halfway around because we're gonna do a little work to this box and it helps to just kind of work in small sections. So the top of this has points on it. We put the flat sides facing down, but come in with some wire cutters or some heavy duty scissors and trim those points off. That is gonna help the lid of the box sit on the top here when we get to that point. So. Once those were trimmed, go ahead, hot glue the top points of our skewers to the inside of the lid, and then you'll continue around working and adding those skewers until it looks like this. So it doesn't look like a pumpkin yet, but we're getting there. I also probably should have done this before I added the skewers. It was kind of an afterthought that I needed to add a candle in here, and I was not gonna be able to do that when I hot glued this whole thing together. So it was a simple fix. Just taking a sharp X-Acto knife and cutting a hole in the bottom. That way I could set a candle right over top of it. And that allowed space for that. So that's what that looks like. Doesn't have to be too pretty because you're not really going to see in there. Now we're going to head outside and we're going to make this look like a pumpkin with the help of some orange spray paint. I will make sure to link this along with any supplies that I can down in the description box below to make it easy for you guys to find these colors in products that I'm using too. These knobs I also found on Amazon, so I'll link those down below too. They come in handy for a different project, especially if you like the boho kind of look. And what we're doing here is we're just going to paint it brown because this is gonna be the stem of our pumpkin. So here's our pumpkin all painted and dried. To add the stem, we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and cut an X right in the center there. And that's gonna allow us to easily then push the knob right down in there. If you wanna add a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place, you can do that too. Now we're going to embellish our pumpkin. So I had some boxwood, little sprigs hanging around that I thought looked like pumpkin leaves. So I hack glued that onto the top near the spindle. And then this is wired jute cord you can get from Dollar Tree. I love this stuff because it has wire in it so it will stay the shape that you make it. So I wrapped it around a pencil to make some curly cues, slipped that off, and then I just twisted that around the top too, kind of made some little vines for our pumpkin. And these are the little tea lights that I'm using that fit inside the little hole that we made for this pumpkin. You can find those at Dollar Tree too. You'll just set that down wherever you want it and then slide your lantern right over the top. This is so cute. You can make these in different heights and make a grouping of these. I think this would be so cute on the front of a mantle next to a fireplace or if you have an indoor sort of area or entryway, it'd be pretty there too. I love all the great fall signs the Dollar Tree has, and they had so many to choose from, but I found this really cool one. It is a chalkboard tall sign with a pumpkin cut out of the top, and I thought it'd be a fun way to make a countdown to Halloween sign. So this is a file that I found on Cricut Design Space and then sort of altered, which is why I'm not sending over like the free SVG because there is some copyrights in there. But if you have a Cricut, you can find this in Design Space and I just made it, I took out some of the sayings and added my own. So it says days until Halloween, but it basically is all the original design and then just use some white and some orange vinyl, cut that out, and then I'm gonna apply that on there with some transfer tape. If you don't have a vinyl machine, come in with a chalk marker. Those work really, really great on these chalkboard signs, obviously, but they do show up really well versus like a regular paint pen. And they have colored chalk markers too, and I'll link some down below for you, and you can kind of design your own. Just leave yourself a space 
where you can then use regular chalk to add in the days as you are counting down the days until Halloween. So this is just an idea. Obviously I know not everybody has a vinyl machine, but use what you do have or what is affordable and you feel comfortable with. The pumpkin just looked a little blank for me. So I also had some orange cardstock that I just taped right onto the back to kind of fill it up. And these chalkboards work really, really well just using some regular chalk to add in the numbers that you can change daily as you count down the days until Halloween. So I added this to my mantle next to my candy corn topiary which is in my tomato cage hacks video. So if you're interested in that, I will link that up in the iCards and down below so you can check that video out next. I had to throw this DIY in there because they have these pumpkins again this year and it's my absolute most favorite ever made pumpkin DIY that I've ever done. So if you missed it, you get to see it here now. And if you didn't miss it, maybe this will bring back your memory and you'll wanna try it again this year if you missed out last year. We're actually gonna paper mache this. So I took some regular Elmer's glue, added some water, watered it down to make my paper mache paste and cut out some newspaper strips, went across the pumpkin one way and then went the opposite way to kind of reinforce it. And then I even went a step farther and I cut smaller pieces to make this thicker and just give it more support. So I covered this entire thing except for the stem and then let that dry overnight. So here's what it looked like the next day. I know we went back to our elementary school days with paper mache. It was so fun. It might've been messy, but it was so fun. I took an exacto knife and went around the edges because I did sort of fold over some of the pieces to make sure it'd stay on there, but then you can just cut that right off to then be able to pop this off your wire form. And this is what it'll look like. It looks really not like a pumpkin yet, but we're getting there. We're gonna flip this over to the back, take some scissors and trim around the edges to clean them up. So now it's time to give him his jack-o'-lantern face. It definitely helped to put the form back under it so it didn't smush at all. I drew on my face and then came in with my X-Acto knife and trimmed through the entire layers of paper mache. And now we finally have what's starting to look like a pumpkin. Now we can really make this guy come to life. We're gonna take it outside, flip it to the back side, give it a couple coats of some black spray paint, let that dry, and then you'll flip it over to the front and do the same thing, making sure to get a couple coats on there and letting it dry completely. And then my absolute favorite thing to use during the fall is copper. It has that orange warm tone, but it has a nice metallic finish. So I like to spray paint a lot of things copper. And this pumpkin is no exception. Just look how awesome this looks. It makes this little pumpkin go from newspaper to a faux metal look and look how awesome he looks. We're not quite done yet though. We're gonna add some embellishments too. These are burlap leaves. You can get these at Dollar Tree. I wanna say these are from Walmart though, but they have a pretty green color. So I used those and just twisted a few together and put some wire up there with the leaves to give them some stems. And that is what really made this pumpkin guy come together. He is so, so cute. So like I said, he's my absolute most favorite pumpkin DIY ever. I still love him so, so much. If you'd also like to see how you can make a Dollar Tree pizza pan into a pumpkin, I'll have a thumbnail popping up on your screen. You can click that and head over and watch that from my most recent video if you missed it. Also, don't forget to download the Fetch Rewards app and start earning those free gift cards. I'll have a link for that down in the description box below. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the next one.